Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I want my uh, audience to know that Dr. Caroline Robinson is a board-certified medical and cosmetic dermatologist. And she's practicing out of Chicago, but she's taking time to talk to us on the Valder BB show. Dr. Robinson, I wanted to find out a little bit more about Botox because it's more accepted in society now. I remember when it first came out and people would talk about you, talk about the celebrities if they got Botox. Now we all want Botox. So tell me about Botox Cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's celebrating 20 years. So 20 years ago, Botox became the first of its kind to be FDA approved for moderate to severe glabellar lines, which are the lines between the eyebrows. And since that time, it's really taken the cosmetic industry and the aesthetic industry by storm. Um, I was first introduced to Botox Cosmetic as a resident when I was in training. And I, I love that I was able to use the product and discuss the results with patients and they were reliable results. And now in my daily practice, I see a diverse group of patients and I use Botox Cosmetic daily. And the conversation, you're right, has definitely shifted the conversations I'm having with my patients and, and who many of which were never comfortable about talking about injectables um, are now more rich and I'm able to offer a product like Botox Cosmetic to them because it's so reliable and so trusted. So this 20th um, milestone is really a celebration of the rich history of the brand in the aesthetic industry. It's a celebration of patients. It's a celebration of providers. So I'm really excited. Uh, it's an exciting thing. Can you tell me, um, has it become more affordable? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can't necessarily uh, speak on that per se, but I know that it has definitely become more accepted, uh, especially the, the dialogue has become more open and it's more of an empowering dialogue. So these the choice to get injectable treatments is really a personal one. And I think, you know, it's been perceived in other ways, as you noted, but really it's an empowering um, decision that patients are able to make for themselves. And my role is really just to educate. And I always make sure that I screen patients to see if they're candidates. I discuss the side effects, but there's only one Botox cosmetic. And I think that the brand has earned the reputation of being trusted and reliable, and that's why many patients ask for it by name. It's in its 20th year. Has the formula changed? And what I mean by that, uh, in the past, you could tell when people got Botox. I don't think you can tell today. Yeah, you know, the formula has not changed. It's, it's uh, still a, a purified uh, protein that does help to relax the muscles that cause the lines on the face. But I think that definitely um, technique, like I use a, a technique in my office and I always discuss with patients what their expectations are um, so that we make sure to give them the results that they want. And I think that that has been the shift. And definitely there's been a shift in People who have not considered the product in the past now are considering it and, you know, they, they're they wanting a more uh, uh, relaxed and, and natural looking result. Um, but the 20th celebration is actually a great opportunity for those who are just becoming familiar with Botox to learn a little bit more. The celebration is going to be traveling nationwide. So starting in New York with an art installation, that's an immersive experience. And then traveling to Chicago and finally ending in L.A., this will give patients and providers the opportunity to learn more and to actually celebrate the 20 years. And for anyone not in those cities, they can actually follow along on social at 
Botox Cosmetic and at Alley and also at Alley.com. So there's a great opportunity there. Um, you can also s follow along with the hashtag 20 years of Botox Cosmetic. All right. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Robinson. And I'm going to read this post from Instagram. One of the posters says, she doesn't know if you use Botox, but you are beautiful. So I thought I'd hear that. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by the Valder BB show and being such a great guest. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.